It's a cold morning, but we're in for sunshine and beautiful afternoon temperatures. Tomorrow there's a breeze and some rain and then Wednesday's back to mild sunshine. So this week in general looks pretty good. Temperatures right now are a little on the cold side. I'm talking 30s and 40s across the area. A couple spots are a little bit milder than others. We're looking at Anderson, Abbeville and Hartwell. You're in the low 40s right now. It's in the upper 30s in Greenville, mid 30s for Hendersonville and closer to freezing out near Brevard. Wind speeds are not that strong at this point. We've seen them at about 5 to 10 miles per hour for the most part this morning. A couple spots are a little calmer and that's going to be what helps to get the temperatures to feel so good today. Highs reach 59 degrees around Greenville, likely getting to 60 in places like Elberton and Tacoa. Looking at a mostly sunny sky with comfortable conditions. Mountain Town's a lot of sunshine for you too reaching 53 degrees when it should be in the upper 40s this time of year. So just a beautiful above average day across the board. And with that, we're going to start your week looking great with a perfect 10 on our Carolina sky meter. Satellite radar shows a clear sky right now and really the entire eastern half of the United States is dry and clear outside of a few rain and snow showers up in parts of the far northeast and New England. The next rainmaker is going to build in between today and tomorrow, really giving us the next Next chance for wet weather on Tuesday morning. So today, all sunshine with future cast. Late tonight, clouds will start to build back in. And then by tomorrow, we're going to start the day with some mountain showers around 5 or 6 a.m. They're going to continue to sweep through the area during the morning commute. You'll notice there's some pink on the map in the far north. There is a chance for some iciness in western North Carolina and some light snowfall there too. This whole system, though, clears out pretty fast. I'm talking 2, 3, 4 p.m. on Tuesday. It's going to be back to plenty of sunshine as the day wraps up. The clouds will pull out quickly in the wake of the system, but it's not going to be the last chance for rain we have this week. Keep in mind, though, Yancey, Mitchell, and McDowell counties, with that small chance for iciness and light snow, you have a winter weather advisory for the day on Tuesday, starting at 1 a.m. and lasting until 4 in the afternoon. The week will end with another round of rain, fairly light showers on Friday kind of on and off throughout the day. It's Friday night into Saturday. The rain starts to pick up and then Saturday night. Really, we get slammed with some heavy rainfall before it clears out on Sunday. So there will be another set of wet weather for the later this week that will be a bit stronger than what we see tomorrow. Today near 60 with sunshine tomorrow 54 with morning showers and then Wednesday and Thursday stay in the 50s to near 60 degrees with sunshine. The late week rain chance brings a lot more warm air with it. 60 on Friday with showers, 68 degrees on Saturday with heavier rain. And luckily, as the system clears for Sunday, it's going to look quite nice in the upper 60s with sunshine yet again. So the weekend will end on a nicer note.